Hello everyone, it's Greg Flyshaker. Greg Fly to my friends, and today I'm making a video on how I make my cinnamon rolls, which I don't do very often. It's more a special treat for my children and myself, usually around the holidays, but uh, we are now cooped up in social isolation for COVID-19, so uh, I think this counts. Uh, I sped it up, obviously, so you don't have to see the boring parts, but uh, there's not really a lot to it. It just takes quite a bit of time, so if I remember correctly, and I have this on my website, it is about four and a half cups of flour, some sugar, um, some yeast, and then I'm adding uh, eggs, and then a whole lot of butter. So 16 tablespoons of butter, two sticks, and the important part is that the normally cold items, so the milk, the, I hope I didn't say water earlier, milk, eggs, and butter, all need to be set out about half an hour to an hour earlier. It'll make this really, the dough come together much easier. So you want your butter, not melted, but soft. So it, it gets broken down into the dough like this. I just add it two tablespoons at a time. This is a dough that I would not make without a mixer. So uh, yes, it's super nice to have one. I'm super lucky, uh, but this looks like it'd be a real pain to do by hand. So I, I mix everything together, the eggs, the flour, the milk, let it come together as a, a shaggy dough, kind of a rough dough, and then I start adding the butter in, two tablespoons at a time, until it gets a little bit, until I really can't see the butter there on the side of the walls. Um, if you're watching the video, you can see how it gets stuck up on the wall. Once that gets incorporated into the, into the dough, I'll add two more tablespoons, and then once I have all the butter in, I'll turn the speed up a little bit, and then I just put it out in a oiled bowl, and put that in the refrigerator. I'll cover it with plastic wrap for at least an hour, half an hour at the very minimum, and then uh, longer if better, and clean up and then get the cinnamon sugar together. So for me, cinnamon sugar is one cup sugar, one tablespoon cinnamon. I don't always use all of that. Um, I have on occasion, but <laughs> that might be pushing it. So um, I let the dough rest in the refrigerator for, uh, this time, a couple hours. And the, the longer you can leave it in there, the easier it'll roll out like this. So if you give it a couple hours, it'll roll out quite nicely. The thinner you get it, the tighter your rolls will be. The, the literal roll inside the roll, so the spiral, will be tighter. And then use your cinnamon sugar, roll it up like that so you have a big log. Um, if it's still soft, which it will be because there's so much butter, you can pinch it together. And then I cut the ends off because they're ugly. And I cut it. I cut this one in nine. Usually I do eight or twelve, um, but I did nine. And then um, put them in the refrigerator overnight. So this is the next morning. The oven's preheated. I had brought the rolls up to temperature about an hour, and I put them in the 350 degree oven. So I usually get up before the kids anyway. I get the rolls out, start the oven, and then I'll make the icing which is just a couple cups of powdered sugar. Uh, in this case, I use three cups of powdered sugar. I end up with five tablespoons of milk, but I go there slowly. So I start with three, just see what it looks like. I usually end up between uh, three and six, a little bit of vanilla, and give it a stir. And if you haven't made icing before, you'll be amazed at how reduced the powdered sugar gets. So this just really comes down to how thin or thick you like your icing. Some people might like an extra tablespoon in, make it a little bit thinner. So that's the consistency that I was going for, so I'm good. And then as far as the roll steak, you just want to bake them for uh, probably 25 minutes, maybe half an hour, depends on your oven, until they are the appropriate color brown. So I think I showed you a picture of what it looked like out of the refrigerator, and then here's a picture of um, what I'm shooting for, that kind of golden brown. And there should be famous last words, enough butter in the dough that it doesn't really stick. If you want to pre-grease or oil your pan, your dish there, that's fine. I did not. It came out just fine. Usually there's enough butter in the dough that it comes off. And then just apply as much, or as little, in our case, as much icing as you would like. And there you go. Homemade cinnamon rolls.